Hi you guys, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about stubborn belly fat or stubborn outer thigh fat. Can you get rid of it? And the trick is you can with this one trick. Stay tuned, a word from our sponsors. Just kidding. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Okay, I have a story for you guys today. Okay, I have a story about stubborn body fat and how I lost it and then what happened afterwards. Okay, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, but first of all, I wanna just let you guys know, hi everybody, thanks for hopping on. Um, I wanna let you guys know, if you didn't already know, that my team does one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? So we're gonna talk about stubborn body fat today. We are, but my team does one-on-one -on -one coaching where we customize an entire program for you and your goals and your body type and everything, and we walk you through it every step of the way. I'll tell you more about it at the end. Just wanted you to know to keep it in mind. Um, the link is moxiebylindsay.com. Um, when I finish this video, I'll put it in the post above. Um, if a couple of you guys could write it in the in your comment really quick. Oh, you have this shirt. How fun. It's from like Target, right? No, American Eagle. That's it. Can write this for me in your comment. Just so people who get on can see the link. It's www.moxiebylindsay.com. M-O-X-I-E-B-Y-L-I-N-D-S-E-Y.com. Okay. I'd appreciate that. Okay. Hi, Shannon. What's up, girl? Um, stubborn body fat. Can you get rid of it? Okay. Couple aspects to this question. Okay. First of all, I want to throw this out there that you cannot spot reduce, okay? So if you want to get rid of like lower tummy pooch or saddlebags or inner thighs or whatever, a bazillion and a half crunches are not going to burn the fat in that area, okay? I get asked all the time, you guys, what's an exercise I can do for my saddlebags? The exercise is five reps of stop eating so much crap. Boom, 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 ching. It's a good joke, right? But really, there's truth in that, in that no exercise is going to spot reduce and target that area and burn body fat, okay? So what does burn body fat? Body fat is burned by an overall approach with nutrition and workout, okay? That's gonna be cardio and your strength training, kind of working together synergistically in a good program, okay? So the trick, the trick that I mentioned in the beginning you guys are you guys are gonna be so mad at me. It's not it's nothing that you want to hear, but the trick is consistency and patience. Why? Why, Trader Lindsay? Why can't the trick be this pill or this drink that you can take and burn off stubborn body fat? I'm just I'm just sorry. That's just not the trick. I because I promise you, you guys, if it was out there, I'd already be taking it and then I'd be selling it to you. So it's not out there, I promise. There's no magic pill, you guys. The way to get rid of stubborn body fat is an overall whole approach to nutrition and exercise and being consistent day in and day out and being patient because these things take a long, long time. Okay, so first issue. What happens if you're losing fat, but let's say you really want to lose it. Like, let's say you have some, some meaty inner thighs and they just, they just bug you. And that's like your place that you nitpick yourself, right? Um, so you get on a plan, you start losing fat and you're like, but Lindsay, I'm losing fat off of my tummy, but it's not coming off my, my inner thighs. And that's where I really want to lose it. So what exercise should I start doing? Do you see the problem here? If you're, all you can control is if you're losing fat. You cannot control where you lose the fat from, okay? Actually, where you lose fat from first is genetic. Some people will lose it from their extremities first and their middle last. Other people will lose it from their middle first and their extremities last. So watch your mom, watch your grandma, um, what kind of body types they have, and that's gonna determine where you're gonna lose your um, body fat from first, okay? Unfortunately, usually, the place we hate it the most is the last place you're gonna lose it. So now it's story time. You guys ready? You guys ready for a story? So if you guys don't know this about me, I have competed in, oh gosh, I need to recount, but I think it's like 17 um, figure and bikini competitions since 2010, okay? Um, in the beginning, of course, like most people, I didn't get lean enough, but towards the end, I got really, really, really lean, really lean. 
So we talk about losing stubborn body fat. I've done it, you guys. I've lost all the body fats. All of them, I've lost them. I know how to do it, okay? It is possible. I didn't do tons of crunches. I didn't do tons of leg lifts. What did I do? I dieted. I ate in a calorie deficit consistently. I worked out hard for a long period of time. Okay, I was consistent. I was patient. But here's the thing, you guys. When you lose the fat from that stubborn body fat, you are pushing really hard. You're exercising a lot. You're eating really, really strictly. That kind of stuff is not maintainable and it's not, you don't want to maintain it. It's the status of your health and your hormones and just like your energy levels, your lifestyle depend on you not staying in that strict of a deficit. So you have to come out of that at some point. And guess what you guys, guess where like the first few pounds go back, went back on me, lost all of the stubborn body fat and then it comes back to those stubborn spots. Okay, for me, it's my lower tummy. Actually, just kind of all over. Actually, actually, it's just my tummy. All over my tummy. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. Um, and then, yeah, and my triceps. You'll never see me like with ripped arms unless I'm super duper duper lean because it comes back onto my tummy and my triceps, okay? And so, moral of the story, for me, that's the last place it comes off. It's also the first place it comes on. So if you think about this, let me, let's think about this. What's the point? What's the point? It's pointless, right? Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to kill yourself trying to get off all this stubborn body fat and maybe you'll get it off. It's possible. It really is with the whole, whole approach, but what's going to happen? It's going to come back on and you might have done a lot of damage like your girl like your girl here in trying to get that off, okay? So if you're competing in a competition or if you're doing a photo shoot or whatever, or if you just wanna see if you can do it, sure, go for it. As long as you know it's temporary and it's likely going to come back on. So moral of the story, what do we need to work on? What do we need to work on instead of our trouble spots? We need to work on our hair color. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we need to work on our mindset. Oh, oh, we need to work on wrapping our minds around loving our bodies, the good, the not so wonderful, all the parts of it, okay? If we can work on that, you guys, that is where we can find true happiness, okay? Work on being healthy. Yes, Darla, you are right on. Work on being healthy, not running yourself ragged to drop an inch off your thighs. You guys, that's so lame. Seriously, that's no way to live, I promise, because I've been there, okay? Last summer, when I was competing so much, I, I was like lifeless, you guys. I remember like just being like, when can I go to bed? I'm so tired, like this sucks. Like I felt, I looked awesome and I did feel confident in my looks. I didn't like, I wasn't nitpicking my body or anything like that. Hi Summer, I love you too. But I felt so yucky, okay? Like I'm not the type that gets hangry and like mad when I'm like super lean. I just get like blank inside. Have you guys seen, have you guys seen that sketch from what's his face? Uh, never mind. but he talks about blank inside cards. I get blank inside, okay? Like just like, what's up? Like that. So, where was I going with this? Okay, the point is, can you get rid of stubborn fat? Yes, not by spot reducing, but by an overall approach to your exercise and your nutrition, okay? But when you get rid of that stubborn body fat, it's gonna come back on in those places, I promise you, okay? So it's much better time well spent working on your mindset around it, okay? If you guys need help with an overall um, approach, to your nutrition and your exercise. My team does this for a living. You guys, we specialize in fat loss for women. We actually spe specialize in fat loss for busy moms. You don't even have to go to the gym, you guys. We can lay out a plan exactly for you. You can do from home and we will hold your hand all the way through it, okay? You guys can do this and we can help you with it. So moxiebylindsay.com or better yet, just send me a DM and we'll talk about it and see if we're a good fit. Okay, you guys, so I hope you love that little story. Um, I'm just kind of scrolling through some comments here. Leah says, just wanted to say thank you. I went from 222 down to 189, but I did exactly what you said and put it back on. I'm gonna go for it again and get this back off and be as strong as I can. 
Yes, you can do that. Totally. I am in full support of fat loss. I'm not the type of person that thinks that that's diet culture. I want women to be confident in their bodies. That's what I am passionate about. And I am here to help you do that. Um, it's those, it's that stupid little trouble spots that I don't think we need to stress over. And I, I would rather you wrap your mind around being okay with that. So that's my message. That's my PSA for the day. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please DM me and let's talk about if we're a good fit to work together. Okay, you guys hope you have a great day. Bye.